I have some very exciting news. Today's Sunday 12th, February Sunday 12th, 2017. I'm gonna be officially doing a daily vlog. The reason why I wanna do a daily vlog is to be able to document my journey in building Caballero to the brand that I want it to be. I want whoever is watching uh, to feel inspired to actually get up out of their couch and do something and like right now just so you guys know I'm a little nervous about it because for the past I want to say five years I've been super private on everything that I do other than post on uh, Caballero wear there's really nothing else that I share I share very little and one of the reasons why I don't share much is for a while I used to do a lot of talking and not a lot of doing so it came to a point that I just wanted to shut up and do stuff but now I think I went to the opposite extreme. Like I think it's, it's a good time for me to continue doing stuff, but also document it. I wanted to start this vlog when, when we first did our New York trip. That was actually our first, uh, our second trade show and our first trade show of the year. So that's gonna be our first entry and it starts right now. Hey, so you're gonna get the pizza in New York and it's delicious. Wingtip sneakers. So for every um, shoe, we send you a note and we actually send you a picture of your shoe being made. So this is the photo that belongs to this shoe. Dude, take them out. So I'm sitting in somebody's yacht. I'm sitting in somebody's yacht talking about their product, their them, them, them. And, I'm look and I just like zoned out. And I'm like, I didn't even remember what the conversation was about. That's how I was a blur. And I said to myself, God damn it, this guy is hiring me to do his shit. Why am I not doing a product on my own? So I went into like three months of like, bro, if I show you, I have cat toys ideas. I got fucking, I've uh, been there. I've bro, been there. I have toys ideas for kids. I thought of books, illustrate. Bro, there was, my brain was like everywhere. Yeah. I dressed like shit. I used to wear American Eagle sh uh, shirts, yeah. uh, ripped jeans, and yeah. fucking Nike sneakers, yeah. okay? And I was telling people that I own a business. <laughs> Yeah. What the hell is this kid? Go draw cartoons in a corner or something. Yeah. I went to Express and I got myself a, a vest, a pink tie, some trousers, and I got some ugly Steve Madness. I'll show them to you in a second. Hey Rod, you, you look great, bro. Your outfit looks awesome. You look great. But them shoes, they gotta go. Bro, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Really? Is it that bad? I didn't even know. What if, you don't know what you don't know, yeah. right? So we're driving to Tampa and you got three point five hours to drive to Tampa. Yes. I'm with my wife, my wife is half asleep, and all I'm thinking is, yo, I love your outfit, bro, but them shoes gotta go. Hey, the, the Andrew Ram, just like in a movie. Like, I told Brittany, I got my product, I'm going to do like something in the men's wear thing. And she's like, oh, shut up. And I'm like, what, what? You dress like shit, babe. Like, <laughs> what are you gonna create? I'm like, you know what, okay, fine, back. I called my father in Colombia and I said, Dad, I want to I wanna start a shoe business. Because from all the things that, that I saw was the most important was the shoes. They said the shoes and the wash are the most important. So people look down at your shoes and they judge. And I said, all right, let me start with the shoes. I wanted to buy some shoes, uh, like some oversized slipper shoes, and they were like 450 bucks. I'm like, no way. I already have 800 that I still have to pay off. What am I? I'm ready for you. I need you to come over here and let's finalize. So I said, perfect. So three weeks I spend in Colombia with my dad, going over the factories, making sure we get the right collection. So I came back, we did so much hustle that the leather was gone. I had to throw those shoes away. It's ironic because I went to Colombia, I lost two more of my shoes, but I came back with 20 with my brand. During this time, I had put, I did a little hype marketing where I was just letting people, something something was coming soon. I went in Comito, nobody knew if I was alive, I was dead, I didn't even know nothing. They thought when they saw the logo for this first time, they thought I was in a suit company. They had no idea what I was up to. So, and I was very shocked because I always did a lot of talking. Yep. And this time there was a lot of action. Uh -huh. you're, you're gonna see it, you're not gonna hear about it. And I live by that model. Good. 
So I start doing this website on this on this platform called Magento, which I've never done before. Come to find out, Magento is the one that uses Nike uses Magento. I was used to doing iWeb fucking website, yep. bro. Non Magento. That's how I started. Yeah, non Magento. Yes. iWeb. Yes. Yep. <laughs> it's fake. It's fake. It's fake. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> So after that, I, I got this website launched. I did a shitload of marketing. I literally would punch like like on Instagram. I was selling on Instagram, like sell, selling the idea of Caballero. No product was sold yet because there was no platform to do it. Bro, when I sold the when I launched the website, that same within seconds, when I said website will launch, a person from California, his name is um uh, Evan Gomez, he buys a pair of shoes for $290, okay? That guy doesn't know me, that guy's not my cousin, that guy's not my grandma support, like, that guy's a guy from LA who buys his shoes to get married on. He bought the shoes for his wedding. Bro, I'm like, talk about proof of concept. I'm yeah. like, yes, yes, oh my god. One sale, two sales, three sales, and I start fucking selling, selling, selling. Bro, I'm fucking winning. I'm like, yes, yes. All of my savings, unfortunately, went bye bye. I spent between you and I thousand dollars on starting this. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna share it soon, but not yet. Between you and I, yeah. looking for the beep. Bro, it was a disaster. Nobody was coming there. The overhead was crazy. I'm still swiping my credit card. I'm like this. So the reality is. I have no factory because the guy runs out of business in fucking Colombia. I have a shitload of overhead. I have credit card debt. My wife is like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, huh. lost imagination is a fucking shake because I have like my focus is not on, yeah. on it. I'm like, what am I gonna do? Buyer was just like, I spiked up, bro. I, I did three shows in the past few months. We went to Vegas, we went to LA. We're about to go into New York, a capsule on January. We've been selling a shitload of shoes. Like, I am, I am, when I'm focused and I'm and I'm and I'm hungry and I have a vision, I'm unstoppable. Nobody can fuck with me.